Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Sean from Double Clutch HD coming at you with episode 9 of the Angels franchise. And we're going to be taking on the Texas Rangers in this American League Division Series Game 2. And Texas, just to recap, uh, they beat us in Game 1 with a nice pitching performance by Hugh Darvish. And Jared Weaver just could not get anything going that game. And we lost the game uh, pretty handily, actually. Uh, we had the game close for a while, um, but the pitching just couldn't uh, manage to keep up with the Texas offense. And Texas managed to run away with the game. So, let's see. Um, we're going to be taking on Texas in Game 2. And we need to win this game to, e to have any momentum going into Texas. As you see, Yu Darvish picks up the win in Game 1, and Weaver picks up the, g the loss in Game 1, as you saw last episode. So CJ Wilson up against Alexi, Alexi Ogondo, and that's going to be a nice pitching matchup, as we as you remember from the last game of the season. Uh, we faced Ogondo in, uh, in Texas, in Arlington, and we managed to uh, pretty much get a lot of runs on him, so we're hoping to have the same result today. But on the, on the flip side, Texas also got a lot of runs on CJ, who also pitched that game. So let's see who gets the better of uh, the pitchers. So here's Ron Washington's lineup for today. And the Texas Rangers put out Elvis Andrews, Craig Gentry, Adrian Beltre, Nelson Cruz, Ian Kinsler, Giovanni Soto, Jeff Baker, Mitch Moreland, and Jerickson Profar. To round out that order, up against CJ Wilson, 6-1, 2-10... 210 pounds and age 32 and he's gonna be taking on his old team once again let's see if he can win a playoff game against them so here's Jeff Baker or Craig Gentry excuse me he's gonna drive that to right field Juan Pierre dies but cannot make the catch Mike Trout is there to back it up and uh, Howie Kendrick is or Cliff Pennington is gonna throw it on to third but Craig Gentry is in there with a with a triple and a one-out triple so here's uh, Adrian Beltre, 2-1 count, and oh, Cliff Pennington is going home with that throw, but he cannot get him, and Adrian Beltre has an RBI right there. Probably not the best decision to go uh, home with that throw. So Nelson Cruz strikes out on that nice two-seamer by CJ, and that's going to end the Texas threat. So Mike Socha's lineup for today is going to be... Mike Trout, Howie Kendrick, Albert Pujols, Josh Hamilton, Mark Trumbo, Cliff Pennington, Matt Carpenter, Hank Conger, and Juan Pierre. And now we're going to be looking at the pitcher, Alexi Ogondo, number 41, 6'4", 195 pounds, and only actually 29 year, 28, 29 years old. So here's Albert Pujols, see if he can get on base, and ooh, look at that high cheese, 95 mile an hour cutter, strikes out Pujols right there. So now Josh Hamilton is up 1-1 one, one count. Can he get anything going? Oh! Alexia Gondo dings him, and that's going to be a, a hit by pitch for Hamilton. That's a tough play for Adrian Beltre right there, but he is one of the best in the hot, hot corner. And Mark Trumbo grounds into that double play, just hitting the wrong spot. So here's Hank Conger, one out, and oh, that's a deep drive! To left field! Can this get out? Oh, Jeff Baker is right there. I think that's Jeff Baker. And he makes the catch in left field. And it might be Scott Baker, actually. There's a lot of Bakers in this world. I'm sorry. Juan Pierre, though. That's a deep drive to the left center field. The deepest field in the entire stadium. And I'm just going to call him the left fielder. Left fielder can't get him. And Juan Pierre is into third base with a nice RBI triple right there. And I think that's Moreland. Or I, I can't tell from these expressions, man. These faces. So here's Mike Trout, and oh, that's a pitch right down the middle, right in Mike Trout's wheelhouse. And he's going to get it, hit it into right field. Nelson Cruz can't make the play, and Mike Trout has a nice single and drives in Pierre. So clutch base hitting by Mike Trout right there. Here he goes stealing. Looks like a pitch out, and Trout is going to get in there safely as that was an errant throw by Giovanni Soto behind the plate. So let's see if how we can drive him in. 1-2 count. Let's see, and Agondo kicks and deals. Oh, that's a nasty slider right there. Howie couldn't catch up to it, and that's gonna be that's gonna end the Angels' threat. So man on first, two outs, three two count. Giovanni Soto is up, and oh, that's a deep drive to right field. That looks like it's gonna score a run. No, it's not. The Angels are saved by that short wall in right field. So now CJ still has a chance to get out of it, 
But that is going to be into center field for a base hit. Giovanni Soto, round third, heads on home, and he is going to get in there safely just ahead of the throw. And the Texas Rangers are up 3-1. to one. So here's Albert Pujols. That's a high slider. Probably should have crushed that. But instead, it's going to go for a single for Al Big Albert. So now let's see what Josh Hamilton can do behind him. 2-0 count, looking for a pitch up right here. And Alexi, oh, that's a slider deep to center field. Pujols has to wait, but that is going to kick off the wall. And the center fielder could not make that play right there. Pujols on the third. Hamilton has a double. And that was a nice piece of hitting right there. So here's Mark Trumbo. 0-1 oh, count. Oh, that's another hanging slider. Uh, Agondo's sliders have been non have been very bad late, right, as of late. And the Angels took advantage of that. And here's Greg Maddox to discuss uh, the situation with Alexi Agondo. So after that, Cliff Pennington comes up. Let's see what he can do. So now that's going to be grounded to the right side for a base hit. Ian Kinsler can't get to it. And the Angels are threatening again with men on first and second. So here's Matt Carpenter going to put down a bunt. You don't see that a lot for Matt Carpenter. But that's going to be a nice bunt set down by him. And the Angels are going to have men on second and third for Hank Conger. Let's see what he can do. That is grounded to shortstop. Andrews on the first. Going to take the safe play right there. And the Angels score a run and take the lead 4-3. to three. So let's see what Juan Pierre can do. 0-1 oh, count, two outs. And Alexia Gondo kicks and deals. That is, a, that is in the hole. Andrews, strong throw from the hole and shortstop. And he gets the speedy Juan Pierre. What an impressive play right there. So now CJ is has is now working with a lead. Let's see what he can do. And on the first, and Trumbo can't get him. I don't know what happened right there. CJ was just late getting there. And they have a one-out base runner. So here's Mitch Moreland, and that's going to be a single into center field. And he is rounding third, heading on home. Josh Hamilton comes up throwing. That is late as well. And the Texas Rangers have tied up the game on Mitch Moreland's uh, single. So after CJ has a wild or has an errant uh, pickoff attempt, here's one. Here's uh, I'm not sure who that was, but that's gonna be a drive to to left center field, and uh, that's gonna score another run. And now Texas has a lead, and Ian Kinsler comes up. Man on second, two out. CJ can get out of this if he doesn't give a home run to Ian Kinsler. Oh, that's just a no-doubter right there. And that's into the rocks. And Ron Washington is very happy with his team. 7-4 to four game now. Mike Trout up. Alexio Gondo still on the mound. Trout's going to line that to right field for a base hit. Nelson, Good job by Nelson Cruz to hit to get, that, get there before it hit off the wall. And Angels have something brewing, I guess. But that's all they could do. And now oh, Jerome Williams comes on in relief and gives up a home run to Nelson Cruz. So now heading into the eighth, eighth inning, we're going to see what they do right here. Oh, another home run to Mitch Moreland off of Mark Lowe this time. And now eighth inning, 3-1 count. Howie just trying to get something going right here. And he's going to line that to right field for a base hit. So Nelson Cruz cuts that off. And it looks like the Angels' hopes are... If they don't win this game, I mean, it's going to be difficult. That's the last batter for Alexi Ogondo. And Ron Washington turns to Joe Nathan. Uh, the old man and Al Albert Pujols welcomes him into the party with a nice single right there and Howie is on the third on uh, on Albert Pujols' base hit so Angels have something brewing right here if they could chip away at the lead this could be a good this could be decent so they're down nine to four and oh that <laughs> that was a bad play right there by Texas just drug him off the bag Elvis Andrews did and the Angels score a run but two outs now Men on second and third. Matt Carpenter, he needs to get something here. He needs to get a single, a base hit. Oh, that's a deep drive. Two left field. Is this it? Oh, no. The ball dies right there. Almost at the warning track. So now Mike Trout, 0-2 count. Joe Nathan going for the save. And that's some high cheese right there. Texas Rangers win game two, 9-5. And the Angels are heartbroken once again. And they realize this is going to be a very difficult uh, deficit to come to break out of as they lose game two at home against a very well constructed Texas team 
and they they're just proving to be the better team in this in this uh series right now as Alexia Gondo had a great start and the Angels just couldn't get anything going this game had a had a nice uh rally going in the 4th inning but after that everything just kind of died down uh Matt Carpenter had a chance to make it a one run lead and had a deep dri deep drive in the 8th inning but that came to naught as the Angels going to drop game 2 and Texas is rejoicing in their victory and your player of the game it's actually going to be Ian Kinsler, which I was kind of surprised. Uh, only had that one home run for uh, that one home run that uh, pretty much broke the game open. Angels kind of just fell out after that, and Ian Kinsler is your player of the game. So, Angels, they're going to have a difficult road ahead. They're going to need to sweep the next three games if they want a chance to go to the ALCS. And this is a this is a terrible turn of events as the Angels were. Won that one game playoff against the Oakland Athletics, and then it looked like they were pretty much set for the next for the next round in the first round. But then they're just proving the West is just proving to be too difficult, and I didn't want really want to play the next game, so I just simmed through it, and we were eliminated. And it was actually it was a really close game. It looks like Ernesto Frieri actually blew a save. And so this coming video is coming to an end, guys. Uh, next episode will be the off season of the 2013 season, and I will be making a couple moves. And let's see where that that uh, that takes us. So we're gonna sim to the rest of the postseason, and I will leave you guys with that. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you around later. Goodbye.